So hello all, welcome to this series of fan engagement motivation, where we are talking to some passionate IPL fans and trying to understand the factors that motivate them to follow a specific IPL franchise very passionately. So in this series today, we have a very interesting guest with us. So his name is Saurabh and he follows Delhi Capitals. So first of all, welcome to this show. Thank you for having, having me here, Deep. Right. So there's an interesting fact about you. So previously I hosted your brother and he follows Rajasthan Royals, but yeah. you follow Delhi Capitals. So what's yeah. the reason behind this and how is the atmosphere during the IPL, your rivalry with your brother and all? Yeah. So first of all, we never agree on anything. So that is one of the reasons that we don't support the same team. <laughs> and uh, for me, actually, the driving force was, uh, to be honest, I was a very neutral fan uh, up until 2018. And I'm a very, die wh whoever knows me, I'm a diehard Saurav Ganguly fan. And uh, till he was playing, till, till he was active, I used to follow every team that he used to uh, be a part of. And then when he joined uh, Delhi Capitals, it... Uh, uh, actually attracted me towards that team and that was the actually driving force for me to look, in, look into the team and I instantly fell in love with the team because to be honest I see uh, a replica or uh, of uh, Mumbai Indians of 2013 when it was starting to dominate the uh, IPL arena I see that Delhi right now in that phase right now with a very core good solid uh, Indian uh, uh, players and with a very good uh, blend of uh, foreign players as well and um, the exciting prospects in that definitely uh, are awesome uh, Rishabh Pant, uh, Shaw and it's not just the youngsters actually what I liked about this franchise is uh, they have actually respected a lot of players whom uh, the big franchise might not go for uh, like Shikhar Dhawan, R Ashwin and uh, so that is also Ishan Sharma. So that is also a very good thing about this franchise. And I see a turnaround of sorts uh, uh, since 2018 and since JSW uh, uh, entered in this uh, franchise. Right. <clears throat> so you mentioned a very interesting point and that is your passion towards the franchise because of Saurav Ganguly. So probably this is the first time I'm hearing someone saying that I follow a franchise because of, because of the faces that are there in the support staff. Yes. So do you think that when a franchise has some known faces in the support staff, for example, Delhi currently has Ricky Ponting, Mumbai has Mahila Jayawardhane, now Rajasthan has acquired the services of Kumar Sangakara, uh, sunrisers have Muthaya Murli Dharan and Nivyas Lakshman. So these are the players whom we have all seen while growing up. So Definitely. do you think that these players also drive some fans to follow the franchise just like you? Yes, definitely. Uh, it is a driving uh, force uh, to start with. Uh, there has to be something uh, that is, there has to be some initial uh, thing that uh, should be attracted towards the franchisee. And it is different for everyone. Uh, the best uh, way to go about uh, for any franchisee is uh, win everything. Then it will attract fans. And uh, then there comes uh, co some players, uh, some legendary players like RCB has uh, Virat Kohli, uh, who attracts a lot of fans, uh, a lot of Indian fans uh, to its mix, ABD Villiers. And then like me, uh, who have uh, idolized, I, I don't know whether this generation idolizes any more uh, uh, to any player, but uh, we used to idolize these players, Sachin Tendulkar, Saurav Ganguly, Anil Kumble, Virender Sehwag, and uh, Rahul Dravid, of course. And uh, then this, when they uh, get attached to something, then we are like, yeah, we have to follow this team now. <laughs> right. And you also talked about youngsters performing really well for Delhi Capitals. So in general, when we have some big faces in the support staff and then there are these youngsters who just want opportunities and just want to perform well for the franchise. So how well a known face and a youngster mix together and then they bring out an amazing product in front of the IPL consumers? Right. The best uh, example uh, in this is how 
our indian team changed uh, post 2000 when we had uh, legendary players already established players and the youngsters uh, came into the fold like yuvraj singh virender seva harvajan singh and there definitely uh, there has to be a blend uh, and uh, now in this case in case of uh, uh, delhi capitals if you see that there are a lot of youngsters but uh, there are a lot of uh, senior players as well and then there is of course ricky ponting who where the buck stops he is definitely the decision maker in this team uh, rishabh pant is going to execute definitely uh, the plans but ricky ponting is going to decide everything of what i see from the outside and that is okay for uh, a young captain who is just uh, coming to the fore who is actually in the best form of his life right now and this actually takes some uh, pressure off uh, from him that he doesn't have to worry about one out of many things that are uh, attached to his captaincy so definitely uh, uh, the blend has to be there if you just uh, insert a team with uh, talented youngsters then uh, there might be some problem that can crop up like we saw the with the interview of uh, ricky ponting uh, about shaw so if there was not ricky ponting uh, in the dressing room and if the youngsters had to had been given uh uh the freedom to do anything and definitely there won't be any improvement and uh in this uh, uh this uh cutthroat competition you will be sorted in one or two years you might have the talent but you the best the best and legendary players are after the failures they correct themselves and they come back and that is the uh, thing that is shown by uh, ricky ponting to show and definitely he'll be hel- i don't know whether he'll be happy to read that interview but definitely in the wrong long run shaw will be helped by this and uh, he is going to be a very good prospect for the indian team right so you talked about the young captain rishabh pant and the kind of responsibility and the faith that fr- franchise has shown in him but do you see that <clears throat> when ipl started there was this trend that many franchises they went for experienced captains and slowly slowly now the trend is somewhat changing and lot of franchises are giving captaincy to young indian players be it rohit sharma he got captaincy of mumbai yeah. indians at very young age be it shreyas sayar sanju samson rishabh pant so do you believe that this is a positive change definitely definitely and it has to do a lot with the team management that is working in the background if you have a very strong team management that is working in the background you can go with the uh, a young captain and uh, uh, if you see uh, that uh, uh, if you have given examples of uh, ricky uh, this rohit sharma shreya sayar in both the cases actually ricky ponting was uh, working in the backgrounds uh, at the initial years and then he took over as a coach and you if you have a very strong opinionated uh, decision makers in the background it is easier to work with a uh, a young captain rather than an experienced captain if actually if you recall what happened uh, in 2009 with uh, bukanan and uh, saurav ganguly uh, two uh, headstrong people collided and that is never good for any team so definitely this is the way going forward and if you have a very uh, uh, normal uh, management group uh, behind the doors and you need a strong uh, captain like uh, the uh, ms dhoni the way ms dhoni runs the team uh, in csk definitely he won't uh, like any coaching staff to interfere with uh, his uh, decision making at that time you go for the experience one so there are two ways of going there is no one way of uh, getting the success but the trend uh, what uh, uh, the teams are following right now are the template set by mumbai indians because they are the most successful team in the uh, in the league right now right and when we talk about support staff and their their role in <clears throat> making a franchise successful we also see that a good support staff is the one uh, which uh, actually shows uh, faith in the squad and they show some kind of consistency in the squad they don't release so many players so do you think that the previously when delhi was delhi daredevils so they used to release lot of players before the auction but since it became delhi capitals they have started 
to go with a consistent squad with a few tweaks here and there right that has that has been the biggest change in the last 3 years and that is one of the driving force for the team to step up with their performance and be consistent uh, in their performance right now uh, they used to make uh, playoffs uh, once in a while in the earlier years but uh, when they started ch- chipping and chopping the team uh, that didn't help uh, the delhi daredevils and uh, right now they have a vision they have a plan and they have a very strong uh, owner uh, pa jindal who always sets the goals pretty clear that uh, we need to go one step ahead now and uh, it what i see is a resemblance of uh, mumbai indians that uh, they cannot uh, uh, settle for anything less than a ipl victory right now and that is very good to see very refreshing to see and it keeps everyone uh, at their toes and uh, definitely uh, the longevity if you see whatever uh, uh, whichever uh, the team uh, you talk about uh, who is successful definitely they stick with a set of core team uh, core players and they don't uh, change that and uh, that is uh, what uh, that is how you build a team in ipl so you play two months uh, in a year but uh, definitely for three to four years at least you have to stick with that team and uh, give a chance now even with uh, rishabh pant i hope that uh, he is also given a uh, chance i don't know what will happen when shreyas ayer comes back but uh, what i feel and what i see that uh, they are looking looking at uh, rishabh pant with a long term prospect of captaining delhi and then eventually future in future maybe india as well what i used to feel that shreyas ayer might do that uh, so we'll have to wait and see how it goes definitely currently he is just for announced for uh, this uh, uh, this season but it will be interesting when uh, shreya sayer comes back right <clears throat> and uh, when we see that there there is a team that has performed uh, consistently in last couple of years but now a catastrophe has hit them shreya sayer is not available they have a new captain some additional responsibility on him so delhi fans they have expected a lot from the franchise then uh, uh, over the years and now they have believed that this is their year when the auction ended but shreya sayer's injury has kind of hit them hard very hard so do you think that if the team doesn't perform well so the fans will be kind of disappointed yeah definitely currently this is the year when they have to go one step higher because this is not just a process for one year but it has taken 3 years to reach here right now to expect and believe to win an ipl uh, trophy yeah this has taken 3 years uh, to reach here and to believe that you can actually win the trophy and if you look at the team right now uh, what i see is uh, there are definitely uh, shreyas ayer will be missed his calm compo- uh, composure will be missed in the team but uh, what i see is um, definitely uh, adversity gives an opportunity and it has given an opportunity uh, to rishabh pant and if i go player by player uh, name it uh, prithvi shaw he is playing for survival he is playing for comeback uh, shikhar dhawan he is playing for survival right now in the international circuit uh, r ashwin maybe or maybe not but he might uh, be playing for a white ball return so there uh, there are a lot of players in this team who wants to uh, uh, prove a point who wants to make a point that we are here we can deliver uh, things as well so this might go against uh, the team or this might uh, get the best out of uh, these players and they might play uh, a lot better like what i what we saw in the australian tour that uh, when these people uh, uh, set their uh, mind to prove something they came out with flying colors and maybe we can see that in uh, this current uh, a situation because they have been hit hard with the injuries and everything so maybe adverse this adverse adversity will also give an opportunity for something great right that, that that's true so <clears throat> when we see this team so on the social media handles and all they talk about ye hai nayi delhi so what does that mean to you yeah uh, the uh, difference being the 
set template set core team of uh, uh, players that you can identify with now uh, if i if uh, i think uh, about their devils i used to i can't uh, relate with the team i can't uh, name three to four players who will be who are uh, who can be identified with their devils but now when i say delhi capitals suddenly there is a shaw there is a pant uh, shikhar dhawan r ashwin the names crop up uh, ricky ponting uh, in the management so definitely they have uh, built an identity for this team which is helping uh, the uh, fans to connect with this team a lot more and uh, for the past 2 years the fans have not gone to the stadium yet the fan group is building uh, uh, and they are uh, growing more and more and definitely it is a very good thing to see for delhi because it is not easy to uh, increase the fan base in this two particular years when the fans have not visited the stadium and seen their uh, superstars perform so definitely this nayi delhi uh, has a nice uh, ring to it and uh, what i see is uh, this nayi delhi has a new identity that i can relate to right and you mentioned a very interesting and very important point here that delhi capitals is a team where you can associate as a fan you can associate yourself to a set of players because when we see other franchises so let's talk about rcb you associate rcb fans with virat kohli fans you talk about chennai they are just dhoni fans you talk about mumbai they are just rohit sharma fans but how important is it when you talk about delhi that you associate yourself with a set of players not just with one player definitely this is a very vital thing for any franchise to build and uh, delhi has done that uh, beautifully uh, in the past 3 years that they have built an identity and that definitely will go in their favor because uh, four to five years down the line six years down the line the core group will change but the loyalty shouldn't and you should not uh, the team should not be based on the uh, player identity but a set of team identity what these people uh, these players can bring to the delhi capitals what these players can do for delhi capitals that is more important than what uh, the uh, the uh, individual players doing in their own uh, uh, careers so definitely this is what uh, delhi capitals has managed to do in the past 3 years and that is how they should continue in the future as well so that uh, even if the core group changes now even uh, in mumbai also the core group shifted and changed uh, after 2012 or 13 but the uh, loyalty didn't change actually with delhi i hope that uh, it will continue like this but they have a long run with the youngsters as well so maybe in the mega auction we will see how uh, they are strategizing for the next 3 years right and there is another uh, very unique point about delhi capitals and that is when ipl started so there were local star players with each franchise and they were leading the franchises for example sehwag was leading delhi sachin was with mumbai so <clears throat> fans were associating themselves with those local teams now if we talk about uh, delhi so they have a delhi capital uh, delhi player leading delhi capitals so how important this is for the local fans to connect with the franchise it will be very helpful uh, for the team uh, for the fans in delhi and this can be seen uh, unfortunately in this ipl uh, it won't be seen right now but uh, when they take field uh, in firosha kotla uh, in the next year definitely that roar uh, they associate with that will be a bit louder when uh, pant uh, might lead we don't know yet but uh, what i can read uh, how can i uh, what i can read from the game is he is there for the long term and he they are looking at a long term association with pant uh, in the mega auction as well and after that as well so definitely a delhi a boy leading them a young delhi boy who has who is the toast of the nation right now leading them definitely it adds a bit of uh, uh, flavor uh, in this uh, ipl and hopefully the fans will resume in the next year and we'll see uh, that roar a bit louder right and you talked about the roar the theme song that delhi capitals have oh delhi re tu roar macha 
so <clears throat> how how important is it to have such kind of theme song that directly connects with your local culture yes it is it is very important and there are uh, what i see is in the past 2 uh, years the fan engagement has become a lot more important than uh, uh, any uh, other years because the fans are not going uh, for any match in the uh, stadium for seven seven for seven matches in, in a year so currently they are actually disassociated with the team in this case such uh, fan engagements play a vital role like uh, the dc toli the way they are managing uh, currently uh, there there are uh, various uh, uh, things that what they are coming with Uh, to connect with the fans, uh, to include them in the jersey launch. Uh, when you give uh, a certain responsibility uh, to a fan, definitely he will give you complete loyalty for the rest of the years. So that is how fans are. They expect a very little, uh, very little from the franchisee. And when uh, franchisee is able to give them, they will give their hundred percent loyalty to you. And that is what I see uh, building in this uh, franchisee. uh so such songs and uh, such uh, initiatives definitely help uh, to build a really nice environment uh, around the fan base it doesn't affect the game but uh, definitely the fans can connect uh, uh, to such initiatives right and <clears throat> so uh, talking about uh, local players so delhi they have lot of local players in the franchise they have ishan sharma they have lalit yadav rishab pant shikhar dhawan they all play for delhi in the local games similarly punjab have lot of local players and uh, mumbai they also have a lot of local players in the franchise so do you believe that having local players who play for uh, the your team in the ranji and uh, domestic uh, circuit games is important for a fan or it's it's not important for a fan uh, not necessarily uh, uh, local players can play a part it is uh, it depends a lot on scouting actually now they were led fantastically by a mumbai player uh, for the past 2 years and it didn't affect uh, their brand at all they had their best 2 uh, years uh, uh playing under shreya sayer uh it is unfortunate that he is not uh, a part of this ipl but uh, local uh, identity uh, is not that important if the results are not coming right. uh, the final uh, uh, the most important thing about all this is results uh, if you have 11 out of 11 delhi players and then they don't perform it is not going to connect with the fans finally fans want results they want uh, to see their team in playoff they want to see their team in top 2 and finally win uh, the trophy so uh, if uh, that is done by a foreign captain or a, a delhi captain or a non delhi captain they are they don't care about this uh, they just want results and that is how it should be it is a very resu- result driven sport uh, it is a very uh, uh, definitely a very uh, cutthroat competition and uh, that that is the reality of this uh, ipl right so do you think that this is the reason why mumbai indians ha- and chennai super kings they have the strongest fan base because they have won so many trophies and they have performed better than other franchises yes uh, if you see if you analyze an indian fan uh, Uh, for the most part of the of an indian fans life uh, they were uh, an individual players fan more than an indian team uh, we have seen that uh, including me uh, actually that uh, i used to look forward to saurav ganguly uh, some uh, other person used to look for, uh, forward to uh, sachin tendulkar and then there was a rahul dravid fan and then we used to debate who is better nothing has changed uh, in the uh, next 20 now we are debating rohit sharma and uh, uh, virat kohli so for the first part uh, uh, that we were individual fans now uh, the the franchise thing has come and uh, this definitely the res- it is a very result oriented uh, uh, base if you don't win you will not attract fans that it is as simple as that and uh, definitely rcb also has uh, a lot of fans in, in, despite of uh, 
not winning uh, any trophies at all but uh, it has to do a lot with uh, the best batsman in the world and the second best batsman in the world i won't name who is the best batsman in the right. world but uh, that is for every fan to decide but uh, they have that and that that is the driving force for them so it is not a one uh, formula driven uh, thing but for mumbai and uh, csk definitely trophies help and that is how you build a strong fan base because when you win trophy trophies uh, the cheer is a bit louder and when you lose the si- there is silence so always uh, between a cheer and silence i would always uh, choose cheer so definitely for these two teams uh, there are, there has been a lot of uh, moments to cheer for than silence actually right right you have uh, perfectly pointed out so <clears throat> now uh, comparing these different teams so uh, delhi so the winning formula for mumbai and delhi is now somewhat similar they both go with one overseas all rounder two overseas players and probably one uh, specialist batsman so do you think that for uh, this is the way going forward this is the template that other other teams will also now see and try to copy uh, some teams might some teams uh, might do it uh, if you see punjab or uh, uh, rajasthan they are changing a lot uh, punjab uh, for example they are changing every season uh, they have not yet found that team uh, to stick with uh so if uh, a, a a franchise actually finds a template to go with it depends a lot on the team management and what that team management is thinking for the next 3 to 4 years that i want to build this team around this player uh this player will anchor this player will uh, go for the runs and it, dip- it depends a lot on strategies uh for these two teams uh, the template is quite similar actually quite similar uh, going forward and maybe that's why they are uh, the successful team but uh, definitely you cannot uh, discount csk uh, in ipl they defy all the odds every year and uh, uh, they have a very different uh, template they have a very different template what others are going for and still they make it uh, and they win ipls as well so there uh, there is no one uh, set of template uh, to win but for uh, uh, delhi capitals uh, the best way of going forward is uh, firing all cylinders at the top uh, with uh, shaw because uh, we have uh, seen shikhar dhawan scoring a lot of runs in the last ipl uh, shaw has scored a lot in the last uh, domestic tournament uh, rishabh pant uh, has come uh, come uh, uh, from a very magnificent international uh, 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 performance and uh, if you see this top 3 they are all in uh, a very good form so if these t3 fire then definitely there is nothing uh, nobody can stop this team and marcus toynis uh, will be will be playing in the middle uh, we just have to see how they go about uh, the dilemma of uh, picking uh, steve smith or uh, hetmeyer uh, if they go with hetmeyer then there are uh, three left handers in the top so we have to wait and see how they go about that and uh, ashwin aksar definitely will play maybe they will go with uh, amit mishra as well so there will be three spinners aksar will play as a bowling all rounder and uh, ishant and uh, maybe umesh one of them will play so we'll have to wait and see how that goes i think south african players are quarantined for the first game so uh, but they will fix this template and they will go forward with that right uh, so probably a couple of last questions before we end this segment so <clears throat> you talked about the probable playing 11 so you mentioned a lot of indian players and i couldn't help but notice that a lot of the players that you mentioned those who will be who will be featuring in the first match uh, those indian players are all capped players so how important is it for a franchise to have these kind of players who not only play for their franchise but also play for their national team throughout the year it doesn't help in the mega auctions uh, right. that's for sure but uh, uh, their experience helps uh, currently the difference uh, between the franchise and the international circuit uh, is quite uh, uh, has been reduced actually uh, i would not hop a lot about cap players anymore 
because uh, we have seen how our players have performed uh, uh, overseas uh, without any much experience and uh, we are not playing with uh, mohammed shami uh, ravindra jadeja and yet we are, we are winning everything uh, that shows how confident these youngsters are and uh, the uh, uh, international exposure is different but ipl is no less uh, you cannot discount the pressure uh, this uh, system has uh, from the franchisee from the fans and whoever plays in that team uh, they are uh, exposed to uh, definitely uh, uh, they have to play they have to perform otherwise you are out in the next game so there is a lot of pressure uh, cap players definitely it helps uh, to the team they bring a lot of experience but i wouldn't uh, harp too much about it because now every player who is playing right now and we have a core of 25 so we show uh, in an indian team because of ipl so a lot of players are coming and they are ready uh, to take on the international uh, circuit so we have seen that and that is all because of ipl right now and india a tour games right right that's very true but delhi has this another unique property that they have shown faith not only in young indian players but also in young overseas players because delhi if if we see that Uh, if we name a franchise who has given chance to an overseas players player who has uh, not yet debuted for his uh, national team then most of the uh, foreign players they got chance uh, in delhi capital in delhi daredevils or delhi capitals even before debuting so be it chris lin michel mars sandeep lamichane bet greaves the list just goes on so do you think that this has helped the franchise a lot interesting youngsters definitely it says a lot about the scouting uh, team of delhi capitals that uh, they just don't go with the international numbers and they are there to spot talents and they have done that quite beautifully uh, in india and overseas as well and uh, uh, currently what i see is that they are always thinking 2 to 3 years down the line uh beat uh, giving captaincy to shreya sayar or uh, currently giving giving captaincy to uh, rishabh pant uh, they could have easily gone with uh, shikhar dhawan or uh, ajinkya rahane but uh, they are not uh, seeing season by season they want to create uh, a path for the next 2 to 3 years and that is uh, the best part about delhi capitals and that's why we see a lot of uh, youngsters coming into the fore and this is the best franchise uh, for a youngster to show their talent definitely right now probably coming to the last question of this segment so this season after the auction if we see the squads of three uh, franchises so delhi capitals r rcb and punjab kings so all three they have not won a single title yet but depending on their squad all the fans are hoping that this is their year but if i have to ask you among these three which franchise do you think will win the title first i would always say uh, delhi capitals uh, because uh, they have built a path and they are on the verge of winning it there are a few setbacks uh, but uh, we have seen in the past ipls as well uh, auctions have nothing to do with the results uh, we have seen uh, we always believe Uh, that uh, rcb are going to win uh, this year uh, or punjab they have they always have the best auction uh, in the past uh, so many years but they just uh, cannot perform uh, so there uh, definitely it goes beyond the auctions it uh, it is about the pressure pressure situation it is about uh, those little moments how you handle it all comes down to that one player who is uh, uh, over there like uh, how tevati did Uh, for our if that comes uh, in this team i can definitely vouch for it that uh, this team has uh, four to five players who can win from uh, losing situation uh, to a winning uh, cause uh, so that is uh, what matters you uh, you win on your good days uh, definitely you win on your good days but uh, the teams that win on their bad days or survive uh, to win on their bad days they are the eventual champions so that is uh, going to be very interesting to see how delhi capitals cope up with this and with rishabh pant at the helm and uh, with his uh, 
uh, I dare to say audacity uh, of how he goes about things. Uh, definitely, it is going to be a very interesting season, and hopefully, uh, a victorious one. Right, right. So you, you probably will be hoping for a nice banter with your brother, with Delhi, <laughs> Delhi performing really well. Definitely, he is hoping that uh, his team doesn't finish uh, eighth again. So I am uh, reminding him. It has been just five months actually. So I am reminding him that your team uh, finished eighth. Uh, hopefully, uh, they will finish seventh this year. <laughs> nice, nice one to finish the episode. So it was really nice talking to you, and I really hope that Delhi Capitals will win the title this year. So best yes. of luck to you as a fan. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much.